Okay, right now I'm going to show you how to prep an IV bag um, with a needle. Um, last time I showed you how to do it with a vial mate adapter. If you don't have those or if you ran out, then this is how you should do it. Um, make sure you have hand sanitizer, alcohol wipes at all times. Whenever working with medical things or your line at all, you want to make sure you have these. Um, your medicine bottle. This one is in a powder form. It's done differently if it's in a liquid form. Um, and I'll explain what you would do differently. Um, your saline bag or whatever liquid that they have you using. A saline syringe. And a needle. First thing you want to do is put some hand sanitizer on your hands. and get it all over your hands nice and good there. Then you're going to open your saline and prep it just as you would when injecting it into your line. Like that. Then you're going to take your needle and open up the packet. being careful not to touch the top there. So grab it from the protector and pull it out. And then pull the cap off the saline and attach it to the saline. Don't take the protector off yet and put it down on a flat surface. Okay, then you're going to grab an alcohol wipe and take the cap off your vial of medication. And you can see the little rubber seal inside there. So you're going to want to wipe that down. Just like this. And wipe down that inside. Then you're going to take your syringe and pull off that. Um, let's see. You're going to want to push it slightly so that a couple drops come out of the needle and inject it at an angle into the vial. Then you're going to push it until the vial is about half full, which will probably be the entire syringe, and it is. And you're going to pull out the needle and then just shake it back and forth a little bit. Not like shaking it. Probably shouldn't do that with a needle attached, huh? Um, because then it'll get air bubbles in it. So you're going to do that. Then you're going to reinsert your needle. There we go. Turn your vial upside down. And I don't know if you can see. The, yeah, you can. And bring the needle down so that it's still inside, but at fairly bottom. And then you're going to pull back on the syringe, getting out as much of the liquid as you can. And there's a little bit left, and we can go back and try to get that in a minute. So here's your syringe with the needle full of your doxy or whatever you're using you're gonna hold this grab another alcohol wipe don't let this needle touch anything if you do wipe it with a new alcohol wipe then you're gonna take your IV bag this one is to attach the line to this one is for needles so you're gonna clean off that with an alcohol wipe because it doesn't have a cover or anything so you wanna be careful also be careful with this because it'll you know it's kinda waving around a little bit don't worry, it's not too close to my face. Like that. And then you're going to just take it, put it in, and inject it into the bag. Um, a good thing to do with this, which you don't have to worry about with the vial mate, which is nice, um, you do want to remove the air. 
If it's a pre-mixed bag, you just have to be careful, like I explained in my video of how to prep the line. Um, so you just want to take it and pull back on the syringe to remove the air. It's a little hard to get a grip when you only have two hands, but see how I'm removing the air right up to the tip here. And then you can just pull it out. It's just air, so you can release it. There you go. And if you want to make sure you got everything out of the vial, pull back on the syringe, so there's about five cc's of air. Put it back into the vial, and put the air into it, just so there's extra pressure in the vial. And, I mean, there's always going to be a few drops left. But, so you don't really have to worry about it that much. That's only, it's only one more cc of medicine. But, just, if, make sure, and don't put it down if you're going to do this. Put it in, without stabbing yourself is usually a good plan. Like that, and then remove the air that you might have just gotten in there with that. But it's not a big deal to remove it, so. Like that. Put the cap back on your needle, and then you can twist it off. Well, you should be able to twist it off, and put it in your sharps container. And that is how you prep your IV bag with a needle. Um, it's slightly different if it's a liquid because you don't have to add it, and um, they should send you empty syringes. If they don't, just take a saline syringe and push the saline out of it, um, and then just remove what you need from the vial. And that's about all that's different. Have a good day.